gosh, did somebody rip? Let me roll down the window. Wait, my, wait, gosh, wait, 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 my gosh, dude. My gosh. Farm boy, <laughs> what have you been eating, boy? Awesome, no, you want me to roll down your window? Taco John's the other day, but whoa, whoa, I... Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh my yes. gosh. Yes. This is our yes. Song. So we're back on FSN, and man, have there been tons of changes across here. Let me talk about them. Let me talk about our game plan going into, well, spring of 2020 here. What we got to do, what we got going, because there's been a lot of changes. So the biggest change of them all, let me log into my finances here and let me go to the auction house. Because what we did is we did a couple, couple crazy things. We bought field 20. We won this auction. We paid $608,000 for field 20 here. So that's a field that's going to need plowed up. It's going to need lime and may need some solid fertilizer on it. We also, a long time ago, which many of you guys probably know, we bought field 59, which is way up here, uh, which you guys saw. We paid 185000 for. And then if you guys remember, at one point we owned field 16, but we sold field 16 so that we could get field 20. So right now, all the fields we have, I want to get, get everybody down the same page. We own 13, 2, and then this land over here, we own field 20, which is just a long, narrow field. This is going to be perfect. And then we also own field 59. That's all we own. So, by the way, I got to say, if you guys are enjoying FSN, enjoying these videos, please help me out by like and smashing that like button. It really helps out the videos a ton. But we also bought a Pete. We have our same combine, the 9860 SDS, which we don't plan on getting rid of. And then we have our 8530 with a ripper. And what we're doing now is we sold our 80 or we traded in our 8130 for a new tractor that I'm about to go buy. And we're going to buy a DB90 planter. So we're going big to get things done quick because we don't have much time. And that's the plan for now. And then we also got a new employee, D. Welcome to the video. Hello. Yeah, so D is going to help us here. Uh, and then we got Austin Farmer, of course, in the John Deere hat. He's got sunglasses, you know, old crapper, so, or big crapper, so, so yeah. <laughs> so, what we're going to do is we're going to buy that new tractor. That's the plan. I'm going to jump in the truck with Austin. D's probably going to just stay here, follow us down. And then there goes somebody with a D6 over there just flying down there, too. Oh, and also, we, oh my gosh, I forgot to show you guys. So, we bought a T6 also um, with a... Lime spreader or solid fertilizer spreader. It's got the narrow tires. And then on T6, if we have to spread while our crop's in the field, what we can do is we can switch up tires to narrow tires. But if you guys remember this tractor, Little Blue from FS17. I don't know if you guys remember this T6, but I absolutely love this little New Holland tractor. So we're trying to switch it up from deer a little bit, just from running all deer. But that's the plan right there. Grant, where the heck are you going? Where's the truck's over here. Okay. I'm coming. That's Farm Boy's truck. He parked it here. I'll ride in the back seat. <laughs> And then we got D in the back seat, dude. I didn't know you could get multiple people in here. I thought it was only fast. Put seatbelts on, D. We're driving crazy. We're taking D to All school. Right. Drop little D off at school, and then we'll keep going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'm joking. Oh, man. Farm is boy must have got a new tra tractor. Is and there goes that 450. The town is popping today, man. The town is absolutely popping. Is this legal having these three... The uh, lime on the back like this. We don't talk Especially. about that. It's illegal if you don't get caught, D. That's the lesson, man. Yep. That's how we roll over here at Squad Farms. So, we got this nine shank ripper that we're going to run. And then also, the tractor that we got to get is we're going to go and talk to the John Deere guy and build out a tractor. He's got one built out that's going to be coming here like instantly almost. So, since we got trade-in value, like a really good trade-in value for our 8130, we now have $400,000 in our in our checking account and our savings account has like negative fifty thousand dollars which i know isn't a thing but it has negative fifty thousand and then we have another fifty thousand in like a separate account for like warehouse and transaction fees stuff like that but what we're looking at is an 8r series 2009 to 2011 and we are going to max this puppy out on horse we're going to go i'll show you guys as far as tires i was thinking firestone but i got to check with this a little bit front mount we are gonna we need weights on this thing. We need probably as much I don't know, we don't need that much weight. We'll go five hundred kilograms front weight. Thirty inch row crop, yes, is what we'll do. But I think what we're gonna try to do is go triples eventually, maybe. Considering going triples. But the question is, do you go Firestone or do you go Goodyear brand? I, or we could go Michelin. We could go Michelin too. Let me see what Michelin looks like. To to be honest, I think I'm a big fan. We could go tracks too. Uh, but as far as as far as tractor tires, 
I think I'm a Firestone. That's what we run on the other ones, I think. They're a little narrow tire, but I like them. And then we'll run front fenders on the front. So we're at $197,000, but the big thing we're going to do is we're going to upgrade that horsepower, and we're going to max out this horsepower because we are going to be pulling a DB90 that says that you're supposed to have, you know, close to high 300 horsepower. So we're going to max this out and see how this thing pulls it. Hopefully we're good. We're pretty much on flat terrain, so we should be good. Uh, but this is what I'm thinking about running. Um, we don't need GP GPSs. Do we want GPS? And last thing I want is I want a John Deere statue on the front, the little emblem. If that's cool with you guys, that looks so cool. And we can use that as a plan. Obviously, it's a planner marker, but we probably won't need it if we're running GPS. But So this is what we're getting. Not buying her. This is what's going on. Now, I'm going to talk with the guy and see if we can't get a DB90 to match that out. And then this is the DB90 we're going to go with. So, the biggest 8R pulling DB90, I think we're good. It's just a planner. It's not like we're pulling big tillage. Uh, we should be good is what the John Deere guy said. So, we're going to lease this planter. Now, it costs a lot to operate it per hour. Nine grand an hour. So, we got to be careful on how we do this and not run it too much. Hey, Grant, you want to see something? Yeah. Check her out. Oh, sounds like money. Five horsepower. Yeah, buddy. Sounds like a lot of money. We should have no problem getting our crop in with this DB90. Oh, this is going to be good. And we still have that Dude, drill this yet, thing too. thing is shiny. Yeah. Oh, man. She's going to be in dice at night. Let's let up. I didn't even get the extra light kit on it. I think that's enough. I mean, we Dude, don't even really need that extra so, light kit. Oh, man. Now, the thing oh, is, like is we're going to... In the fall, Austin, we're going to need a grain cart of some sort. Yep. This th this thing will be perfect for it. And then here's uh, D hooking up the ripper over here. He went and grabbed the 8530, so I'll back him up. Keep coming, D. I want to get up from between there. There we go. Got the three-point attached. You're good to go. All right. I think we're good to go. Okay. Put in your votes, guys. The 8530 or the 8345R. That's a tough one. I like the 8R. Now, some of you guys might be asking, hey, where is Buck? Well, Buck, Buck's like crazy busy modding, uh, and so we've been getting other people in here. He's been like, guys, I'm just so busy right now. I don't have time to help. Get You need to get some other help in there. Get more guys on the team. So that's what we've been doing. <laughs> we are going to get done planting so quick. I love it. I love it, though, because we're always in a rush to get planted, and if we can go fast, we need to go fast. So D's got the 8R. He's getting the Ripper hooked up, and then I think we're going to back up the 8530 and get that Ripper hooked up here. The me and Austin will go out and rip. D said he was going to jump in the T6, get fertilizer spread. And that's the plan here. Dude, look at that 8R with that ripper on it. It's going to tow it like it's nothing. What's that? Are you screaming from the cab? No, no I'm, I'm right here, dude. Oh. Oh. Oh, never mind. That was D. Okay. <laughs> Hold on, D. Let me hook up. Yep, there you go. Yeah, you're good. She's good. So game plan, boys. Check out my iPad. Okay. So... Let's be, all be on the same page. Field 59, plant with canola. That's good for now. But two days from now, we may need to be harvesting that. 13, 2, and around here, canola. Again, we may need, need to be harvesting that. And then field 20 here. Me and Austin are going to go rip. D, if you can come in with lime and spread that afterwards, that's the plan. And then uh, we've got some fertilizer on that truck there, so you should be good to go because we need all of this fertilized. We need field uh, 2, 13, and the one's kind of over there by that barn. Fertilized. Grant, this 8R handles amazing. Austin, are you going the right way? <laughs> Am I going the right way? That's how we get there. Okay, I'm coming down towards you. We got an easement through there, it looks like. So we're heading down the road. Austin took a different way to the field. We're going to put her in road gear. Really get the 8530 roller. Now, one thing we're eventually planning to do is right now, well, when we're ripping, it'd be nice to have the front duels. But eventually, we won't need the front duels on all these tractors. So, eventually on the 8530, depending on what we're doing, we'll probably take off the duels. You know, if I'm pull, pulling the uh, drill, we'll probably need the duels. Maybe grain cart. If we're pulling the grain cart, we probably don't need the duels on here, to be honest. We'll see, though. So, we have an easement across field, across field 19 here. We have a little easement that lets us allow through here. An easement basically is, I guess, documented across the property that... Uh, probably it's probably on the deed I guess that you can come across this lane they probably measure the lane uh, to go to your property because there's no other way to your property and then here is field 20 coming up here like this is field 20 
look at this this is absolutely perfect because i want productive ground that we can farm efficiently and not have to go around the trees like crazy fast that's what we're wanting because i think that's the best move for the future of squad 8 to be honest now me and austin have to rip up literally all of this now some of you guys might be like well why didn't you buy like a giant plow we weren't sure honestly some of the big plows for horsepower you need a lot of horsepower we'd probably need uh a 9000 series tractor so 9r 9rt or 9 9rx and since we don't plow that often we just didn't see the need to really do it and then with these two rippers i mean these two rippers combined are almost the size of a plow so i'd say we're good but i mean look at this field how far are we through this field even we're about halfway through this field oh man this is gonna be a productive field right here yo austin you there yeah thank god we bought that db90 right yeah i know <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna take forever so apparently uh d was having some issues with the uh with the tractor with the t6 and uh the crop apparently it was it was pushing it over too much apparently that crop's too old and it's just pushing it right over and it's not springing back up so we may have to go in here with the road crops with uh one of the 8r the 8130. so me and austin are going and we called up a neighbor uh farm boy farm boy you there on the cb yes sir howdy neighbor how you doing Good, you coming with that 8130? I sure am. Okay, so we got Farm Boy. Farm Boy's coming down with uh, his 8130, and he's gonna help us, uh, he's gonna help us rip. We're gonna have three tractors going on this field. We are still going here. Uh, we're going strong. Farm Boy's over in uh, his 8130, and we are going, I got GPS set up, set. So before, I didn't have GPS on this tractor. Then we were doing this, I was like, holy crap, we need GPS. But I don't want to show all the lines for GPS and stuff uh, because it's distracting. But uh, GPS is set, so that's why I'm offset because I'm fixing up some of my old mistakes I made. So that's why we're offset a little bit. But uh, but yeah, we got three rippers going. Austin's over there in the new tractor, the 8345R, and then I'm here in uh, 8530, and the farm boy's over in his new uh, his 8130. But this is taking a while to get her done. So I'm an absolute noob when it comes to farm sim, but it's kind of neat how it works. I'll show you guys. See those dotted lines right there? They kind of give me my guidance. And I missed a couple passes here, so I'm going back and just squaring these up so I can get even with everything else. But all I got to do is hit uh, hit control. It'll show me a green line, and it'll auto-sear itself. So there we go. We'll drop her down and then get this going. We're rolling. I think Austin's running across the field. <laughs> to get to the other side quick to uh, to make a nice straight pass there. Oh, look at that. There's Austin. We're going alongside. That's where he came up to. And we are just finishing up. I'm making the last, or Austin's going to come in with the last pass there. So the next step is D is going to come in here and spread fertilizer or lime all over here. Yeah. Well, farm boy, I appreciate the yes, help. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. What do you want me to do? You want me to head out? Wave to the new horn. You want me to pull the tractor up? I haven't even driven. I don't think I've driven the 8345. All right, we should be good. Okay. Have fun. So I have not even operated this tractor yet. Let's shift her up. She sounds good. It sounds different than the 8530. That's for sure. We got the chrome stack too. A beast. I love the deer emblem. It's so cool on the front of this. Here we go. Crank her up to road gear. <laughs> that sounds pretty good. That sounds pretty good. I like that. There's Farm Boy. And farm Boy is heading on out. There we go. Disconnected. Perfect. Hardly anything. I just ran out of lime, so uh, oh, I guess I'm walking back. I guess I'm walking back to the farm. Okay. All right, we can pick you up. <laughs> okay, I'll pick you up. I'll come pick you up. I want to hop in the back. Okay, everybody get in. Get in the gas station pick up. How do, how do I get in? Just, uh, let's, sh let's, let's just see. Get in, Ian. Get in. We got candy. Get in. <laughs> <laughs> My gosh, did somebody rip butt? It smells in here. Come on. Let me roll down one. the window. What? My what? gosh, dude. Wait, what? My Whoa. gosh. Whoa. What are you guys Whoa. doing? Hey, I hey, smell hey. that from that Holy corner. crap. Farm <laughs> boy, <laughs> what have you been eating, boy? Awesome, no, let me roll I, down your window. Taco Jaws the other day, but whoa, whoa, I didn't do nothing. Whoa, whoa. 
There you oh, go. There's man, your window. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, boy. She's gonna get rough. Oh boy. Where's Woo. D at? Uh, torso. Oh. <laughs> get her outside. Get in, D. We're gonna go TP Spencer TV's place. <laughs> With what? <laughs> You mean leads because there's no toilet paper in the store, Grant. Oh my gosh. Yes. This is our yes. song. Well, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, there's some funny parts and stuff, but uh, seriously, if you guys ended up enjoying, smash the like button, and hey, I'll see you for the next vid. Thanks for watching, guys.